Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Want to improve reading in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top 10 ways to practice reading with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. Number one, start a lesson and read along with the lesson notes. With every lesson, you get bonus lesson notes. These give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocabulary, and the grammar explanations. So, as you listen to a lesson, read along with the lesson notes. By listening and reading along, you hear how each word is pronounced and can easily keep up. Number two, read with the dialogue study tool. With the dialogue study tool, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of a lesson's conversation. You get the text, the translation, the audio, and, if applicable, the romanization, so you can read and listen to each line individually. To practice your reading, reread and review each line until you master it. Then, move on to the next line. You get this feature in every one of our lessons. Number three, read along with the lesson transcript. You also get transcripts with every lesson. These are word-for-word -word scripts of everything that was said in the lesson and are completely free to access. So use these to read along. Number four, download the PDF notes and transcripts. Want to practice reading on your own time? Save the lesson notes and transcripts as PDFs to your device and keep them forever. That way you can open them up and practice reading at any time. You can also print the PDFs out to keep as physical reading material. Number five, practice with extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read as many books as possible at a level that's easy for you. And you follow these two rules. One, you skip over words you don't know, and two, you jump to a new book if the current one is boring. The goal is to help you master reading, vocab, and grammar simply by reading a lot without getting stuck on minor words. You can find extensive reading books from absolute beginner level to advanced. These are simple one line per page books and all of the translations are on the lesson page. Simply look for the extensive reading pathways in the lesson library. You can also download these books as PDFs and print them out. Number six, take your time and read slowly. Whether you're reading with the notes, books, or the dialogue tool, be sure to take your time. Read the lines slowly on the first try, just like a child would when they start learning to read. This is so you can get acquainted with every word. Number seven, then speed up your reading. Once you've read a line slowly and are familiar with the words, start speeding up. Reread that same line a little bit faster on the second try, and then a little faster on the third try. Doing this will help you read faster. Number eight, take the reading comprehension video lessons. These lessons are specifically designed to test your reading skills. You're presented with a real life scenario, such as reading a sign at the train station and are tested on the words presented on the screen. Don't worry, you get the answer at the end. And translations are available in the dialogue section. Number nine, get reading assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more reading lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including reading. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. See you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket?
Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express train. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Kong en rad åtte sete C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, Passing train. Passerende tog. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Utgang mot öst. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to?
The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Kundenummer. You are checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, Do not enter. Ingen adgang. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Gratis bus. You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Jag kommer strax tillbaka. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal? From when will the opening hours return to normal? The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. 7. Januar. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. You are sitting on a train that is about to arrive at the next train station. Suddenly, a notice appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean?
The display reads, the next stop is the last stop. Nästa station, nästa stopp. You've lost your wallet at a train station. Hoping to get your wallet back, you go to look at a map of the entire train station. Where is the lost and found office located? Where is the lost and found office located? The lost and found office is located in number five on the first floor. Number five. You are on a platform at a train station where you stumble across a notice. What does this notice mean? What does this notice mean? The notice reads, this platform will be closed for maintenance between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Denne plattformen er stengt mellom klokken 11 og klokken 5 på grunn av vedlikeholdsarbeid. You are at a train station where you stumble across a large notice on a bulletin board. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, express trains will not run on New Year's Day. Det er ingen hurtigtog 1. januar. You are exiting a train station when a person suddenly hands you a leaflet. What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? The offer is buy two, get one free. Köp två och få en gratis. You're about to have lunch in a local restaurant. What's included with the main course? What's included with the main course?
The sign says, one drink and a dessert are included. En drink och en dessert är inkluderat. You're about to order your lunch and you're interested in the lunch menu. What does the lunch menu say? What does the lunch menu say? The lunch menu says that today's special is spicy chicken with grilled vegetables. Dagens speciell kryddret kylling, grillade grönsaker. There's a notice at the bottom of the lunch menu. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says there is an extra charge for alcoholic beverages. Extra kostnad alkoholholdige drikker. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Kaffe, tea. You just had lunch, paid and received your receipt. What is marked with a circle? What is marked with a circle? The circled parts of the receipt tell you the subtotal and the total. Del sum, total. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. You are at a lost and found office at a train station, where you're hoping to retrieve a wallet that you've lost. The staff member presents you with a form to fill out. What information do you need to fill out to complete the form?
What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? The form states that you need to fill out your name, address, phone number, and a description of your lost property. Navn, adresse, telefonnummer, en beskrivelse av det du har mistet. You are on a platform at a train station where you've been waiting for your train. It appears to be running late. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, this train is not running due to technical issues. We apologize for the inconvenience. Dette toget er ikke i rute grunnet tekniske problemer. Vi beklager dette. You are at a train station where you're trying to reserve a seat on an express train using a ticket machine. A special notice is posted on the machine. Which option should you use to reserve a seat on the express train? Which option should you use to reserve a seat on the express train? The notice says that you should go to the counter if you would like to reserve a seat on an express train. Gå till skranken hvis du vil reservere et sete på hurtigtoget. You've just arrived at your destination and you're attempting to exit the train station. Unfortunately, the exit you usually take is blocked by some ongoing renovations. A signboard is posted informing you of another route. How should you proceed? How should you proceed? The sign tells you to go back in the opposite direction, take the escalators up to the second floor, and turn right and take exit A. Gå tillbaka i motsatt riktning, ta rulletrapporna upp till andra etage. Ta till höger och gå ut utgång A. You are at a train station reading a leaflet that you found at the train station. The leaflet is advertising a new shopping center that just opened. How do you get to the new shopping center?
How do you get to the new shopping center? The leaflet says that you can use platform 4 or platform 2 if it's a Sunday to get to the new shopping center. Platform 4 eller platform 2 på söndagar. You're reading an event guide and are going to see an upcoming art event. What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? The description reads that if you bring your own food or drinks, they will be confiscated. Hvis du tar med din egen mat eller drikke, vil de bli konfiskert. You're planning to buy an instant meal. How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? You add 100 cc of boiling water, wait 3 to 5 minutes, then stir the contents. Legg til 100 cc kokende vann, vent 3 til 5 minutter, deretter rør innholdet. You're at the clothing store and want to try on a few shirts. How many items are allowed in the fitting room? How many items are allowed in the fitting room? The notice says that a maximum of three items per customer are permitted inside the fitting room. Maximalt tre plagg per kunde er tillatt inne i prøverommet. After paying for your shirt, you notice the return policy is printed on the receipt. What items are excluded from the return policy?
What items are excluded from the return policy? The sentence means, please note that all sale items are excluded from this policy and are non-returnable. Vær oppmerksom på at alle varer på salg er utelatt fra disse reglene og kan ikke byttes. With your receipt, you also received a coupon. Where do you have to present the coupon? Where do you have to present the coupon? It says, present this coupon at the counter at the time of purchase to receive a 20% discount off all items. Presenter denne kupongen i kassen ved kjøpstidspunkt for å motta en 20% rabatt på alle varer. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at norwegianglass101.com. You are aboard an express train where you're about to arrive at your next destination. Suddenly, the train slows and comes to an unexpected stop clearly short of the station. There are no instructions from the conductor. Concerned, you pick up and read the emergency instructions pamphlet aboard the train. According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? The pamphlet says that you should not attempt to exit the train because the train tracks are electrified. Instead, you should stay seated and wait for help. Bli sittende og vent på hjelp. You are at a train station platform where you are waiting for your train. There's a small pamphlet sitting on a display case about a new train that will be introduced next year. You decide to pick up and read the pamphlet. What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? The main feature of the train is that it is propelled by magnetism. The biggest advantage is that it can reach twice the speeds of any train that runs on tracks. Dette toget løftes av magnetisk kraft. 
Det kan gå dobbelt så fort som tåg på skinner. You just got off the train at the closest station to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Although exit A would normally have been the closest exit, it's currently under construction, so you should take exit B instead. Go ut utgang B. You are at a train station where you're heading to the lost and found office to retrieve a lost passport. According to an email you received from the train company, what things do you need to provide to the staff? What things do you need to provide to the staff? The email says that you need to present proof of identification and to pay a small fee. Vise legitimation, betale en liten sum. You are exiting a train station when a big notice posted on the bulletin board catches your attention. The notice highlights permanent changes made to the train schedule. How will trains on Fridays be affected? How will trains on Fridays be affected? Trains on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 1 a.m. Start at klokken 6 and slutte klokken 1. Suddenly, you get bad abdominal pain and decide to buy some medicine. What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label?
What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? The label says that daily dosage, two pills per day after eating. Daglig dosering, to piller per dag etter å ha spist. Your condition is not getting better, and you decide to go to the nearby clinic. You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is Food poisoning caused by contaminated food. Matforgiftning forårsaket av forurenset mat. You just bought a few items from a local shop online. What information does the website say about the delivery date? What information does the website say about the delivery date? The website says that Delivery dates differ depending on the delivery method, but all dates should be calculated from the next working day. Leveringsdato varierer avhengig av leveringsmåte, men alle datoer beregnes fra neste virkedag. The day after ordering an item online, you receive an email notification. How can you track your package?
How can you track your package? The email says that you can track your package on this website by logging into your account. And after logging in, click on your order history and enter the order number found in this email. Du kan spore pakken din på dette nettstedet ved å logge inn på din konto. Når du har logget på, klikker du på din bestillingshistorie og oppgir ordrenummeret som finnes i denne e-posten. You're reading the instructions of an electronic device you've just bought. What should you do in case of overheating? What should you do in case of overheating? The manual says that if you notice the surface overheating, Unplug the device immediately and allow it to cool down before handling again. Hvis du merker at overflaten overoppheter, må du koble fra enheten umiddelbart og la den kjøle seg ned før du bruker den igjen. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Reading in a foreign language is great, but a big challenge related to reading is that you often need a high level of fluency before it gets really fun. And if a book isn't fun, then you're not going to want to read it. The entire point of sitting down with a book is to enjoy it and have a good time being absorbed in the story or learning the information. And that's just not going to happen if you need to look up every second word. It'll take you out of the story, and it will feel like a chore, like an assignment from school where you have to read the book for a class. But there is a resource that you might not know about that can really help your skills, bilingual books. In this video, we'll look at how to supercharge your vocabulary with bilingual reading. This is a simple solution that will make reading, especially at the beginner levels, easier and fun. These are books that have your target language on the left page and your native language on the right. But how do you use it? Well, it's all in the name. You read a book in two languages at once, the language that you're learning plus the language that you're fluent in. There are a few different formats for bilingual books, but the most common one is the one previously mentioned. You have a book that has your foreign language on one side and your native language on the other. It's also possible to find stories that are presented bilingually, paragraph by paragraph. The principle is the same, but the information is just in more bite-sized chunks, so your eyes need to travel less to read both texts. The great thing about bilingual reading is that you can quickly switch between languages, and the translation is presented to you, so you don't need to try to distinguish between the 10 variants of a word that your dictionary offers, which brings us to the main advantage. Bilingual reading is great for building your initial vocabulary. When you first try reading in a new language, you'll probably find that you need a relatively high level of fluency before you can make a strong connection with the words on the page. Reading is a lot of fun if you already know about 80% of the words, as you can guess the meaning of another 15% from context and then look up the remaining few words you do not understand. But if you're starting out, you might know only 10% of the words. That's where bilingual reading can help a lot. Here's a way to use a bilingual book. Read a sentence first in your target language. See if you understand it. If you do, think about the meaning of some of the key words. Then, 
quickly glance on the other side of the page and check the translation. This way, you'll be able to have fun reading and learn contextual vocabulary at the same time. Let's look at why it works well if you're learning a language at home. If you're taking language classes, then your teacher sometimes supports you in a similar way to the translated page. When you're reading a text with your teacher, you can ask them questions whenever you do not understand something. They'll give you a translation quickly and can share other ways in which a word can be used. But if you're learning from home, you don't have that advantage. Bilingual reading offers the same benefits, as you can quickly check the translation of a sentence and see what each word means. The main goal of bilingual books is to bridge the gap between the beginner and intermediate to more advanced levels. They can help set you up to read real books without any translations. Some language purists might recommend you read only stories that were originally written in your target language, but any book you enjoy is best to encourage your studies. Use bilingual reading to improve your vocabulary and reading comprehension skills until you get so good that you don't need it anymore. It doesn't matter what language you're learning. Bilingual reading works for every language. The principles of language learning don't change, only the implementation does. You also don't really need too much knowledge at the start. If you like a real challenge, then you could even start reading some simple bilingual stories without any prior experience in a language. However, just as with other language programs and courses, the more people who speak a specific language, the easier it'll be to find bilingual books. Bilingual reading can be a great addition to your normal study routine, and it can give you an idea of where you are in your studies and what goals to consider. But for even more ways to learn a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.